Hello guys, welcome to JD Bots. In this video series, we will be creating a to-do bot which will allow the users to create, view and delete tasks. So this is the third video. In the first video, we had discussed how to set up the development environment. In the second video, we have seen the designing of our bot and some coding the main dialogue so in this video we'll be creating the sub dialogues and pass the control to those three sub dialogues so let's get started okay so in the last video we have stopped here so we have captured the user response and stored the value in the operation variable and so whenever user clicks on that it will just show that you have selected the create task then view task then delete task so till now we are just working in the main dialog now based on the user selection we'll be transferring the control to this subsequent sub dialogs okay so I think I had given you the homework like uh, you can write it here the if else conditions so that you can transfer the control so let's do it so basically okay before writing the if else condition first uh, we need to create our sub dialogues so I'll start by creating a new folder inside the dialogues and I'll name it as operations okay next I'm going to create three new sub dialogues that would be the class file so the name of our first sub dialogue is create task dialog so I, I'm adding this sub dialogs so inside the operations folder okay so similarly I'll create two more class files view task dialog and delete task dialog okay so inside each of the sub dialogues I'll extend the component class that is component dialog from board builder SDK you'll have to import it using Microsoft board builder dialogues so I'll do it same for other two as well all right so this part we have done now we need to create a constructor in each of the class just with the empty steps so you already know about the waterfall dialog model so here we have written three steps but now as of now we are just uh, transferring the control we are just we are not implementing the individual sub dialogs logic so we'll be just creating a waterfall dialog model without any steps okay so inside this I'm going to create the constructor create task dialog with a base of create task dialog 
now we'll be creating a waterfall dialog without any steps so here we are declaring the waterfall steps so we are not writing any of the steps and uh, till now we are not using any prompt but uh, i think you can remove this part so let's keep it because we'll be using in the future and we have the initial dialog id so if at all user wants to enter a new task so that uh, we can use this initial dialog id to rerun this dialog same thing we are going to do for other two dialogs so i'll copy this and paste it in the view task and replace the name and uh, for the delete task as well all right so we have created our three sub dialogs without any steps so now let's focus on transferring the control to these dialogs and here we'll be writing our if conditions so if at all so what was the first choice create task so if create task dot equals operation so here we'll be beginning the create task dialog and else if and again for the same thing for last and finally the else part so anyway it will not never reach this uh, else part because uh, if you go if you check out here if you try to give any other value suppose i'll say hi so it doesn't understand so the bot doesn't understand what we are trying to achieve it will just show us the same thing again if you enter anything it will just show it the same thing okay because we need to the boss is because the bot is asking us to select out of these three options we don't have any other choice so basically it will never reach here but uh, let's see for the code quality for the understanding purpose okay and uh, let's say oh wait let's give a statement message factory dot text mm. the selected option not found and cancellation token all right and uh, there we'll be returning the null in the else part okay now in each of this uh, if okay we need to change it here view task and delete task and now in each of this uh, if else statement we are going to begin our sub dialogs okay so return step context dot begin dialog async and the name of the dialog is those so the first one is create dialog create task dialog okay 
it will show us error because we haven't uh, imported that operations folder in this, into this and uh, we'll be adding one option so that is a user class to store the user related data into this class file and finally cancellation token okay so i have created a empty class file empty user class file without any properties so if at all in future we'll be storing any values into this class file then we'll be adding some properties here anyway we are giving the option as while anyway we are giving the option and while calling the while beginning the this create task dialog or any sub dialogs so let's just import this one okay so it is not able to find create uh, did i write the spelling correct okay so it should not be a method because uh, we'll be declaring all of this dialog into our main dialog constructor so yeah create task okay why it's showing an error because mm, q to s is there okay this one is a thing so we need to put the await statement over here fine and same thing i'll copy and do it for the other two as well by calling uh, this one is view task and the last one is delete task okay so we have written our if else statements and passed the control to the sub dialogs now if you run now it will throw us an error that this particular dialog is not declared so let's see that error uh, before that i think we let's keep the breakpoint here so that uh, we can see the error in the error handler oh uh, i ran the project instead of debugging okay let me show you the error here but it will not show us why the error has come but it will show us that the bot has encountered an error see it has reached till the this statement where we have written this like you have selected but when it was trying to enter this part it was not able to understand uh, what is this create task dialog okay now let's debug and see the actual error message so that in future if you see the similar uh, similar error message then you'll be able to find it out what exactly is the cause okay let's restart the conversation i am going to select any of the options suppose let's say i select the view task and now the control goes to the create task so this condition fails it moves to the else part and now see here the operation is uh, view task and now it will come to the inside of that if else condition and it will directly move to the error handler and uh, there we see the error uh, i guess uh, so let me dictate it for you a dialog with an id of view task dialog wasn't found the dialog must be included in the current or parent dialog set okay so basically we need to add this dialog inside the constructor going back to the constructor and here we'll be adding this dialog new and the name of our dialog is create task dialog and i'll add the other two as well if we run now then we'll not be seeing any error 
but you will not be seeing that uh, you'll you'll see that there is no much of the difference actually there will be no difference at all except it goes inside the if else condition so if we give as create task so it comes back and asks the same thing this is because we have not implemented the logic inside any of the sub dialogues it comes here but we have not declared any of the steps right so it goes back to the main dialog and continue and move to the next step basically it comes inside of this one return nothing is there in that sub dialog come out go to the final step that's it okay so in this video we have learned this uh, transferring the control from the main dialog to its sub dialog and in the next video we'll be implementing the logic for one of our sub dialogs let's say we'll implement it for the create task dialog stay tuned thank you all